Hi everybody, um, this is just a quick video showing you how you can bypass your immobiliser um, if it becomes faulty, like mine did this morning. Um, it's it's not a permanent fix, but it'll get you to an auto mechanic like I did to um, either A, fix the unit, or B, do what I did, which was have the unit removed. Um, so, this took me all day <laughs> to figure this out, because I didn't know what I was doing, but... Hopefully it'll only take you about five minutes. Um, so first of all, um, you want to remove the two screws. This one on my car, I've got a Sabara Impreza STI. Um, so I have one screw here, one screw on that side, and that just holds the bottom of the dash in place. Um, I've also had to remove the um, side sill, but you won't have to do this part. Like I said, I didn't know what I was doing, so don't worry about these wires here. They're usually hidden behind here. So they've got nothing to do with us, um, apart from this little solenoid, but yeah, we'll get to that. Um, so, originally the immobiliser unit sits up in here, um, this is what it looks like. So like I said, I've just come back from the um, auto electrician and this is what's been removed. It sits up in here, okay, so what you want to do is open up your dash, you pull this out, all these wires come out with it, and they obviously attach through this hole here. Now on the back of four screws so all I did was take those four screws off and you're left with the body of the I don't know they call it a motherboard I think I have no idea now remember through here are all these wires um, I'll pull them out for you so you can see so these wires here here sorry all connected in through here okay so all I did to get me to town was this. So um, I grabbed a little piece of wire. Where did it go? Check. So just grab a piece of wire like I have here, and with the ignition turned on, don't forget all these wires are going into here. By the way, you put one end of the wire. This could be different for your car, but yeah, you put one end of the wire into one socket, and then the other end you put into another end of the socket. Okay, now, for me I found it was this fourth one here that I've just put the end of my wire into and this one just next to it, not next to it, but the next one over that one there activated the door. Now, <laughs> after eight hours of bloody trying that was an accomplishment as far as I was concerned so I just kept on going. Um, one of them activated the door sound and that was about it, so me being silly, I thought, well, I'll just keep touching all these little bloody things here, and I got to this little unit after a while, and that one there activated the door, this next one uh, next to it activated the door sound, and that third one there that I'm touching, that activated the dashboard lights, so, so I held it there as best as I could, and I turned my ignition on, and lo and behold, the bloody car started up, so... Um, I had to try and figure out a way to stick it to there, which was impossible, so I thought I'd pull it out, so I pulled the entire unit out, and so I put the wire back in, and I turned the unit over, and as carefully as I could, I just went around, and I started touching all, all these ones here, most of them didn't do much, but one down here did the door, one down here did the door alarm, and I think it was this one here. This one activated the dashboard, um, and because I, was, I wanted to find out, this one here also activated the dashboard. So all I did was, I took it and I stuck that down, and then with a piece of tape I sellotaped taped it down to it. <laughs> I put the um, key in the ignition and started the car and it bloody started. Oh, that's how I got the town. Um, if this video has helped you, <laughs> please comment. If not, I'm so sorry. Cheers.